I'm not surprised because the whole industry does whatever Verizon does. So, <laughs> I mean, water, water is wet. What's today? Wednesday? Today is Wednesday. Another it's carrier. Wednesday. <laughs> yeah, man. Another, another carrier copies whatever Verizon does. I mean, the only difference is they're doing 24 as opposed to 28. I mean, okay. But, I mean, we already know that millimeter wave is an outstanding frequency to be used in high capacity situations where customer needs that sort of throughput. And most customers' usage and everything like that, when it comes to home internet, you need it. So, <clears throat> I mean, congratulations for being, what, six years late to the party? I mean, I don't know. I For what it's worth, if you think T-Mobile's six years late to the party on this, they say they're like five years ahead in mid-band, so. Well, how so? I don't know. That's what the CEO said. It's not me. Oh, okay. Well, you said I know, like, how to, I know how to. I know how to count, bro. So, like, <laughs> I mean, all, from from what we know, what's been scientifically, you know, tested and released, seems to me like Verizon caught a really quick, and they're not touting leadership in five G anymore. That stopped as soon as Verizon got the two hundred million pops. I haven't seen a commercial about them touting network leadership since that day. So. I mean, but I mean, good job, you know, follow the leader, you know, do whatever the leader's doing because clearly it's working and that's what they're doing right here. So good job. About time. Yeah, we'll see if this scales. I think that's going to be the thing is like what what happens? You know, you run this trial, you get people testing it, you get some of the data back, you analyze it, you take a look, you know, how quality mm -hmm. was the connection, how stable was it? You know, did the people want to keep it? Do you survey those folks? And and. You know, to be honest with you, I think the question becomes, does this mean they're going to deploy from the small cell or are they going to try to do this from macro cells? No, that'll, that'll be on both because you have to get the, the geographic, the sense of the, you know, the customer perception, right? You can't just put it on small cells because it's not only going to serve a, a small geographic amount. They're going to do exactly, <clears throat> exactly what Verizon is doing as B stated to put that actually on macros on rooftops on rooftops especially look for that on rooftops to uh, to um bring the service into like apartment homes and whatnot now apartments and the hardware that that they're going to be installing that doesn't really mix right well, Attached antennas would, and stuff like this is going to have to be have not well here, here's how that situation work if it was apartment you would have a giant a, they would strike up a deal with T-Mobile. You would have a giant middle window antenna on top of the roof to service the apartment for everybody. Probably well, like it would be like a Pico cell at that point. Yeah, but I don't think that's what this is. I think it's this is going to be like the LV65 for Verizon. Yeah, to start, to start. But like I said, yeah, but you're well, you're speculating that they're going to run with this and it's going to work. I mean, that's. I am. Um, I am because it's gonna, <laughs> I, this is going to like this is why they're they're planning their strategy, right? Think about what they're doing with their current strategy for 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 home internet. So if this works, they're literally going to in two dot fours on every freaking tower, right? So if this works and they like it, they're gonna, they're finally finally going to take uh, millimeter wave seriously, like Verizon is doing, and put thirty nine gigahertz on everything. What choice do they have? <clears throat> exactly, they're, al they're already having trouble offloading their mid-band spectrum there's no more mid-band spectrum coming via auction for the foreseeable future and right. they don't have any fiber to offload because they haven't built any they don't really own a whole lot nationwide that's changing so the only five sir sneed we're not doing this tonight <laughs> we're not going to do that we're not going to do that tonight <laughs> but they're it's closing those the they're getting they're getting lumos and metronet in 2025 that's confirmed those are small guys though come on come, come, come i on. understand i understand but it's still 20 million passings that's that's highly exaggerated yes really? it is it is it's highly exaggerated um <laughs> so they, basically, they, their acquisition is going to exceed 10 million and they're going to build to 20 million. So, when you forecast like that, basically what you're doing is you're, you're estimating the amount of homes that could be passed. That fiber is not built in the ground yet. That's only built to maybe like about maybe, you know, a mil, like maybe one to two million, five million, whatever, right? That's not built to 20 million. So, the, what they have to do is they have to forecast, say, okay, we're going to build to this last mile here and it's going to be 20 million. Like, you see what I'm saying? It's not 20 million now. Look, they got users on their network now using home internet. 
they need an offload now. So I don't really, I'm not really talking about what they're planning on doing. I don't, okay, be that as it may, in the interest of objectivity, be that as it may, right now they need offload. And Correct. so that's yeah, what that's do. what that's what this is all about. They look stupid because they're the only ones who don't have the ability to offload mid band, and at least not a significant enough amount of it to really mean anything as far as a significant offload to their wireless network. So what else are they going to do? Millimeter wave is the next best option. It's the most cost effective. Um, so you know, quote unquote, test it out. And if it, if it works to their liking, then they'll deploy it at scale. Yep. And as usual, when it comes to network performance, they're late to the game. The only time they've ever been able to do a big splash is when the government issued a handout that was unprecedented and we'd never seen before. At least not in the last, you know, four or five presidential administrations. So, um, <clears throat> I mean, whatever. I mean, congratulations. Like I said, I think they're late to the game um, and they're behind the eight ball as far as uh, performance is concerned. Um, they got a lot of catching up to do. So I think this is a sign of them feeling the heat. We've already discussed ad nauseum about issues that they've had with offloading their mid band. They're already seeing some issues, which which was, you know, forecasted. We already know how home in that is. It's a fixed site there's no real real way to offload it you just have to continue to build because that person's home is going to be right there for x amount of years it's not like the mobility network where because of the mobility it offloads itself as soon as that customer moves as soon as that ue moves fix fixed wireless is, is a different beast so let's, let's put it this way i got the t-mobile home internet away away package and I, I i am the offload <laughs> i am the offload That's what according that to mike sievert the ceo of t-mobile he indicated that the network is only being used at a 60 percent clip so i think while your concerns are valid because it's just the foundation says it's 60 percent usage and they're still building capacity so He's less concerned about it than I think we are. I mean, I'm always concerned about networks. I, I feel like you have to constantly be evaluating usage patterns, analyzing, you know, deep data patterns from fixed wireless access and mobility. I think you have to project three to five years. I don't think you have to project one to two years, you know. So according to him, everything's cool. I mean, they're building out their white space licenses for towers right now to off look, to help off look capacity but um but like i said it's not it's not going to be enough they need this they need the millimeter wave like verizon is doing i agree Otherwise, i, I think every carrier's got to have that tool zero cool <laughs> they got to have it 